Hey there, Virgos, and happy birthday to you. Tap in, Virgo, and let's see what's going on in your life. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for every single Virgo out here. So use your intuition, Virgo, and take only the part that fits. And don't try to rush it into your life because it's not worth it, okay? All right, Virgo, I hope you guys are enjoying your life. I hope you're living your life to the fullest, especially during Virgo season. I hope you are being the true stuntas that you are, honey. All right, Virgos. Let's see what you got here. So you got the Knight of Wands. Oof. Queen of Wands. Have the Three of Swords. Huh. Four of Pentacles. King of Wands in the reverse. King of Cups in the upright. Knight of Cups. Wow. <laughs> The Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. Oof. Underneath the bottom, you got the Four of Cups and the Three of Cups in the reverse. Mm. Oh, my goodness. So, this is a lot. So, is this, it seems like two people. Is this two couples here? You have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Has somebody been busy? This is a trip. Do you got all the, I'm, I'm talking about you got the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Then you got a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Hierophant. Four of Cups underneath the bottom here. So it seems like this is kind of like a toxic situation or somebody may have been acting very, very toxic here. Is this you? Somebody went and offered their cup of love to a queen of cups to some type of relationship here. I feel like you got two different people around you, okay? This is what it is. You could be dealing with two different people here. You may have a water sign and you may have a fire sign here, okay? You may be in a position where you have a real strong connection with two different people here, but it's, it's two different things in each connection. Like, for instance, if you're dealing with this Cause I see, I see, I see, I see a person here rushing in up on you in the Knight of Wands energy. You probably like this person here, but they ain't ready to settle down. They may have already broke your heart, and it's almost like you're gonna hold back from a water sign here who is really trying to settle down with you and give you the commitment, but you're gonna hold back from the other one. <laughs> It's almost like you done fell for the bad boy or the bad girl, but the one here who really want to come in here and settle down, which I feel like you ain't trying to get him to no play. <laughs> because I feel like you have a lot of fun with that other one, but they may not be good for you is what I see, okay? I feel like this other one, yeah, they're going to rock your world. You're going to have the time of your life. But they're not trying to stick around. They're not. They're just going to break your heart. And for some of y'all, and it may not be for everybody, they're just going to break your heart and ha leave you in the clinic, okay? And I don't mean no disrespect. But this other one will come to you like a gentleman would. It could be a, this person could. Oh, my gosh. Like I said, a water sign want to settle down with you. You could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces here. I feel like they're the ones that's going to come with you with gifts. They don't mind spending the money, taking you out, winding down, and you treating you like you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you may have feelings for this person too. So you could have feelings for this person or they're looking at you like they wish you would love them like they love you. But I feel like, because like, like I said, I just feel like you got different options around you at this time. That's what I see. You got two different, two different pursuers that's heavy on your tail, but... Two different people that, that may want different things or may be given different things. 
You may have different connections with different people, which which is what you're going to do. Everybody's energy is not going to be the same here. You got the Knight of Cups. There go that Knight of Cups again here. So let's start. Let's start finding out because you got it. You got the king. Cause see, look, you got two two kings here. One is in the reverse. That fire sign here could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And you got the upright king, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. Like I feel like the fire sign is the heartbreaker because you got this Knight of Wands energy coming up on that Queen of Wands. I feel like somebody see you as somebody who's very beautiful, attractive. Uh, you very, very sensual. You like you're a lot of fun. You're beautiful. You're creative. You're passionate. I feel like this is what what it is here. But then I feel like this water sign is looking at you like you. You know they could be looking at you like God. I, I would love for you to love me because I would take care of you. I would build with you. I would show you some things, but you could be holding back from there. So let's see how this goes. Let's start off with this Knight of Wands energy. Spirit, why is the Knight of Wands here for Virgo? Now, it could represent that you're going after two different people. Either you got two people coming after you or you going after two different people yourself. It could, you could have two people around, one that you may be in love with, but the one another one that you go have fun with, okay? And you breaking hard. I feel like that could be you, you two. You could be the heartbreaker, okay? All right, Spirit, the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Up, oh, didn't I tell you? The lovers, Gemini energy. That Gemini energy, that lovers card keeps staying out here, see? And don't let it be the three of swords. Oh, there it is, see? So it may be that you are the heartbreaker here. You probably, <laughs> you just can't resist that Knight of Wands, huh, Virgo, huh? <laughs> you say, heck no, it's my birthday too. I need somebody that's going to give me some fun. All the other one want to do is sit in and watch movies. <laughs> Take me out to eat. I'm ready to go out and have fun. I'm ready to go shoot some poo. <laughs> oh, well, you out here breaking hearts, honey. All right, you got the three of swords. The Knight of Wands for Virgo. Now, I feel like this you. This you can't make up your mind here walking away. And I feel like this is the thing. I feel like you may have, you may have broke some hearts here. Maybe someone did it to you because like I said, somebody walked away from it, but I feel like you had to walk away from it because it got too heavy for you. And now you could have said, look here now, I like having fun with you, but when I find out you got somebody else other than me, I don't, hey, don't ask me about that over there. That, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm talking about what you got going on. Now, if you going to cheat on all of this, then you know what? I can show you better than I can tell you. Then you probably walking on. I can easily see you doing that too. So it's almost like you needed to figure out what do you want to do about your life here because it seems like you got, I wanted this person wanting to come back here. The full card, I feel like here, see, I feel like it's no stopping you. You're just going to move on. All right, the Queen of Wands for Virgo. Why is the Queen of Wands here? What's up with this Queen of Wands energy? Ace of Pentacles, see? See that I tell you, you're just gonna keep on going on here. And see, I think that I think that you may be kind of intimidating. Cause I don't see you stuck here. I feel like you, it's almost like you got a plan. Anyway, you got you got standbys. You 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 like, dude, you wasn't even my girl or my dude anyway. I just like having fun with you. You had the best herbs. I don't know where you get them from. You just you just <laughs> you a lot of fun. I mean, you just make me laugh. We can go out and kick it. But I already knew you weren't going to be my man. You the night of ones. I already know how you get down. I know how you get down. But at the same time, I ain't got to stick around. Eight of cups. I see you see. Didn't I tell you going to move on? You're going to move right on along with your little drop top. See there? That's what I'm saying. I feel like you got somebody else too. And I feel like you're going to just say deuces. You're going to say, all right, well, just, I feel like you're taking an L and you are all right with it because you know you're moving on to something better. That's what I feel like. See, because you already got opportunities. I feel like you're never going to be alone here, Virgo, if this is your energy that I'm pulling here. If you adopt this type of energy and this Queen of Wands energy where you're not going to you're not gonna begrudge it, you're just going to just dust it off, take the little L. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that it's other better things because you, you know who you are and what you can get happening. I guarantee you they probably want to come back, though. So now you got the Three of Swords. Spirit, why is Three of Swords here for Virgos? Three of Swords twice. I feel like the first one was in the reverse. I feel like you found out this person did that. You may have tried to work it out, but I feel like you probably realized, like, you know what? I ain't even got to put up with this. 
I'm just going to go leave you alone here because I can do better here. Three of Swords for Virgos. Three of Swords, death. Ooh, you Scorpioed uh, the them. Could be dealing with a Scorpio here. See, I told you, you ain't going to play that. I thought they knew. See that? Because you said, uh-uh. If I don't do that to you, don't you do that to me. I believe in equality, baby. If you don't do me wrong, uh-uh, see there? High priest, I feel like you want justice for this person, but I feel like you're giving yourself justice by ending it and moving on. And I feel like now you're paying this person dust here. I feel like you're keeping Sally. You're not... I feel like you're tapping in here, um, Virgos. I feel like you had to let it go, but I feel like you're keeping quiet about your moves. I feel like you're just doing other things now. And it could be quiet that you could probably be like, look, the joke ain't on me. It's on you because I already got somebody else. <laughs> and it's probably like, I ain't got to say nothing. I'm going to keep it to myself because if you only knew, but I don't want to hurt you like that because <laughs> I could crush you if I wanted to. But I'm not even that invested. I'm just going to take it as a lesson and move on. All right. Now, what's up with this Knight of Cups for Virgo? Clarify the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, Page of Swords. See, they already checking you out, though. You see how that work? See, that's how come Virgo don't give no, no what's about it because Scorp uh, Virgo, see, see, you must be dealing with Scorpio. See, somebody already checking you out, or this could be somebody who you already got your eye on. <laughs> you see, 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 see there. See there, King of Pentacles. See there? That's why you got the Ace of Pentacles right next to the Queen of Wands here. See? Either somebody, either a boss already got their eye on you or you are the boss with your eye on somebody, okay? Ooh, 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 ooh. I see that Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like you're looking for somebody here to do this with, but this Ten of Pentacles here is showing up in the reverse here. See, you got the Ten of Pentacles here in the reverse here. So it could be somebody here who's checking you out who just completed a cycle here because you got the world card here. So see, this is somebody else that's looking for you. But look, it, don't, don't let this fool you. They still got money, though. It's just that whatever situation they were in has come to an end because they'll go to world card. Remember, somebody's coming in to you. <laughs> you somebody, you may be about to get a new car. Maybe you're about to upgrade with this chariot card here. With the ace of pentacles, for some of you guys, you're about to get you a new car. Maybe you're about to get you a Virgo's uh, birthday car. <laughs> hashtag Virgo birthday car. <laughs> say say hashtag Virgo car. Put the put put your uh uh the, the car that you you would if you had one wish to get a car of your dreams for your birthday. What car would it be? So put hashtag Virgo birthday car. <laughs> okay. Hey, put it out there in the atmosphere. You never know. See, Ace of Pentacles here. See, so this is somebody here who just got out of a marriage, I feel like. Or maybe this is somebody here who closed out a business here. Maybe this is somebody here who, I feel like it's a marriage though. Yeah, because see, now they ready to come out here and hang. See, some, they already watching you though. See, somebody's ready to get back out here. See, somebody ready to get back out here. And I feel like they're looking for love here. Ooh. Let's see what's up with this Hierophant for Virgo. Clarify the Hierophant. Four swords here. A break, a retreat. You may meet somebody while you are out traveling here with this chariot card here. Or maybe this is just you pulling your energy back, regrouping, staying quiet, staying to yourself, and just getting over. I, I see, I see you're, you're, you're purging here. You may find yourself sleeping a lot. You may find yourself getting out of the limelight. It's almost like with this high priestess energy, justice here, this three of swords, it's almost like you're working on yourself in secret. It's like you're not revealing what's going on in your life because you don't want anything to stand in your way. And I feel like you're laying low and you're being to yourself, but little do you know, you got somebody already checking you out here. See, I feel like you're recuperating. See, because they're going to tower card. I feel like there's a lot of things that, that may have been happening in your life that you felt helpless to, but it's just to bring you to a better place here. That that's all. I feel like all these things are happening just to bring you to the place where you've always desired to be here. In control, getting uh, beautiful opportunities, persevering towards success. 
I feel like this is what's happening for you. So all of these uh, these events taking place are not to hinder you. They're to get you there because you got some good news coming in with the Page of Pentacles, good money news here, especially if you've been struggling or dealing with some type of stagnation or it seems like something slowed down or maybe you slowed things down. I feel like you're not putting yourself out there because I feel like that night of ones did, did you in. <laughs> it's almost like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like, you may, you may have feelings for the Knight of Wands here because they go the same King of Wands in the up right now. All right, let's see the Hierophant and the Four Swords for Virgo. The Strength card. I feel like you're trying to build yourself back up. You could be getting over a Leo or you could be dealing with the Leo here. But I feel like this is what you're doing because you know that you work better alone in your, uh, your, your cocoon here. Just think about that Virgo card here, of the, um, the Hermit card. I feel like you're in Hermit mode. I feel like whatever you're doing, you're not in the, the, the limelight. You're not, you're not out and about. You're doing everything from behind the scenes, too. Some of you guys may start working from home, too, with this, eight, this Queen of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles here. All right, Spirit, what else for this Hierophant for Virgos? Feel like it's making you stronger here. See, spirit wants you to let go of the loss. You can't, you can't do nothing about that and focus on your independence here. See, nine of pentacles. I feel like some of you guys may not be feeling like yourselves. See, but it's see, it's see some of you guys. Your money is not, or some of you guys either. I feel like you you want to be in a better financial place. But like I said, something is about to happen for you. See, there she is again, a queen of wands with the ace of pentacles. So if you felt kind of, uh, you know, insecure, financial insecure because of some things that you have lost along the way, you're going to get it back. You got this Ace of Pentacles coming your way. See, you may have felt like somebody may have did, did you wrong, but don't worry about the past. What Spirit say, look to, look to the new beginnings that's coming your way. You got somebody, you could be a boss from your past that's checking you out, but I feel like this is somebody here. I'm going to have to get another card. Give me one more card for this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, that could be them because that's a Nine of Pentacles. I just realized it. Knight of Cups. Who is this Knight of Cups coming towards Virgo? Or is this Virgo going towards them? They go the Fool card. Like, I feel like an Aries, somebody's ready to get back out here. And like I said, they are already checking you out. This person, it could be somebody here who is finally single because you got the King of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone here who may have taken some type of financial um, loss, but they're not broke. See, you may have somebody here coming here. You know, their money may not be like they once had it, or they may be trying to get it back here. But this is definitely who they probably coming to you here. Now, what's up with this King of Cups here? I wonder who is this King of Cups now. You may have multiple people. <laughs> you may have more than two. Let's see who's this King of Cups. Uh, who's this King of Cups for Virgos? King of Cups. Oh, it could be you. Is this you, the Hermit card? It's almost like maybe you're... Maybe, I feel like... You, so, check it out. It could be... It could be two... It could be this one relationship here that you may have fallen in love with, this, this person here who broke your heart. You may have actually, y'all may be in love with each other. You may be staying quiet in hermit mode from this King of Cups. But like I said here, I feel like there's one particular person here who was a player that you may have caught feelings for, but I feel like you walked away from it. But I feel like you got somebody else over here that's watching you is what I feel like now. Now that I see this hermit card, see? Eight of Swords, I feel like you're just trying to deal with it. I feel like you're just trying to deal with things with this Hermit card. You could be blocking people. could be blocking your emotions and shutting down right now. Some of you guys don't feel like yourself, see? You could be focusing on home. Like I said, for some of you guys, you just staying in, surrounded by family. And then it could be that this person here, King of Cups, wants this with you. Somebody may want you all to themselves, Eight of Swords. I feel like you're staying close to your family. You're staying close to the house. You're surrounding yourself. Or do you, you may not even know you got a bunch of people that love you. And then it could be somebody here who is, it could be you saying that you're stuck on this person here. 
And I feel like you may be spending a lot of time trying to, it's almost like you're trying to come away from under it. It's almost like you want this relationship, but I feel like it's not good for you. It's what I feel like now that I see you got somebody else checking you out, but it's almost like you want something that may not be good for you is what I feel like. Let's see about this queen of cups here. Why is the queen of cups here for Virgos? Queen of cups, the hierophant. Mm. Why is the queen of cups here? The moon. Pisces. The sun card, Leo here. See, I feel like... Now, whether you are the masculine or the feminine, like I say, you got it right here. I feel like somebody has been afraid. I feel like your person has been afraid, but I feel like your person is ready. I don't, I just feel like your person may be ready to, to face their fears now. And then for some of you guys, maybe this was a marriage that you were in. Maybe this was a relationship you were in. But it seems like somebody may have stepped out. I feel like there is love here, but I feel like nobody is healed enough to get it right now. I feel like if you are staying quiet and to yourself, because it could represent you're quiet and staying to yourself, but the person here, there is almost like your person may be isolating themselves too here. It's almost like y'all mirroring each other. Because I feel like this connection is affecting you more than what I thought. But I, I feel like it is. But I feel like there is there is an opportunity to come out of it. It's almost like you may have physically walked away from it, but it's still mentally having an effect on you. What's up with this king of wands in the reverse? See, you got the king and the queen of wands, the king and the queen of cups. Now, like I say, some of y'all are dealing with two different people. King of Wands, Four of Cups. See, this is somebody that's not happy. Maybe they're unhappy because they feel like they, they may be realizing that they've missed an opportunity here. See, because they go to Magician card. Somebody may have seen, and they go to Two of Cups. That's what I feel like it was something deeper than that. So this is why you, somebody may feel stuck on it. It's because it's a soulmate connection here or a lesson, lesson made here. So, so somebody here, I actually feel like somebody thinks about the other person a lot. That they don't know that they're manifesting this. But until they do some type of healing and some changing, there's no need in trying to go back to the other person here. I feel like this, I feel like this is a cup. I feel like if it's if it's just one-on-one, -on -one, just you and one person here, I feel like you both are in love with each other. But somebody made some mistakes, some, some costly mistakes. Now they're dealing with the results of those mistakes. And I feel like the person here who got hurt is the person who's trying to heal and move away from it. But because of the love that they have for the other person, it's not as easy as they would want it to be. And I feel like the person that got hurt, which I feel like it may be you, Virgo, it could be the cross watcher. There is a new opportunity coming your way with this king of pentacles. Somebody here who's just got out of a relationship. Like I said, don't get caught up. That's why Spirit's telling you, you know, it's good for you to stay to yourself. It's going to make you stronger, make you release the regret of the past with that five of cups because you got beautiful opportunity coming your way here. So now you got the four of pentacles in the reverse. Why is this here for Virgos? Four of pentacles in the reverse. It's the star card. See, that's in the upright Aquarius because somebody need to heal. I feel like somebody here is going to start purging and releasing. This, this is the only way, see, because they go to Ace of Cups in the reverse. There's the need to self-love is what I'm hearing. It's, it's not about trying to get love from the other person. Spirit says it's all about self-loving yourself for right now. So if you're in separation, this is the best thing for you because now it's going gonna, it's gonna to build you back up, Virgo. So now you can start manifesting your own life. And you may not even want this other person, especially if they've been out here reckless anyway. It's almost like you're going to have to find your worth or your other person is or somebody is while both parties heal. But I don't feel like you can heal together. I feel like this time apart is what's going to bring you uh, into realization if, if this is something that you really want. After all, you know, you know what they say, uh, you know, when you when you apart from each other, you really start to think about things differently. 
But when you're in that relationship and you're in the thick of it, you can't hardly see the other person's perspective because you're too busy, you know, trying to lick your own wounds in it. Because I feel like maybe you haven't been able to manifest, but I feel like when you break free, heal yourself, you're going to manifest and all types of opportunities are going to come. But like I say, you got good, uh, you got good news coming your way anyway. But as far as the soulmate, see, Knight of Pentacles, Spirit just asking for you to be patient in the time of you being patient. Just continue to self-love and love on yourself and continue to heal. See, because you're going to be happy again with this Nine of Cups. You're definitely going to be happy again, Virgo. So this is your reading, Virgo. So if it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.